This tutorial is designed to show you how to upload an existing building from SketchUp into Google Earth and then share that building and location from Google Earth using a KMZ file format. Uh, so you'll start with an empty SketchUp workspace and say File Open, navigate to your existing building, and that'll throw it in the workspace there. Uh, then you go up to your top toolbar and say Add Location and that'll give you your Google Earth viewer window here and you can either zoom into your location or type in the address or intersection or however you know to find your spot and that brings us right to our intersection um, we'll get the site centered in the window and then say select region We'll move these pins to create a desired bounding box that's approximated right around the site. And once you have your area of interest, you say grab, and that'll load your location into your workspace. Your next step is to grab your selection tool and select all of your building elements. And you'll grab your move tool and just slide your building into place. Um, so we do have two existing features that we're using to line it up. Uh, we have a building in the northwest corner and then we have the CTA rail line to the east there. So once you have it approximated, you're going to want to spin around and just kind of look to make sure that your features that you know are to be there are lined up. Um, you'll check below grade to make sure that you have it set right on the earth's surface as opposed to hovering above or obviously dropping below, which that looks pretty good. Um, so once you have your location set, you'll go up to the top toolbar again and say preview model in Google Earth. And that will load your Google Earth window and then fly you into your location. So there we go, to Chicago, Illinois. On the near west side and you can see our awesome dome is located amongst all the other existing buildings and features in Chicago. So then if you want to share this with other people you'll go to your layer manager window on the left and right click to say save place as and um, then we'll just drop it in the documents folder as a KMZ file and say save and then um, what we'll do here just to show you that the file works is that we will um, open this file again in Google Earth. Give it a second there. And it's going to fly us right back in. So anytime you share that KMZ file with anybody, your existing building will be in its correct location and give you the nice fly-in that we all know and love from Google Earth. And there you have it.